Hi, scrolling along with Susan. I have a little boy birthday party to go to, and I'm going to be making him a little truck with wheels so that it's all going to be made out of wood. And this is a Steve Good pattern. If you go to his website, you'll find thousands of different patterns that you can use. And I'm making it out of a simple two by four piece of pine. And I have some scrap pieces of wood that I'm going to be using for the fender. Now there are many resources that you can find online to buy wheels if you don't want to make your own. But I want to have walnut wheels. So I have a quarter inch piece of walnut that I'm going to cut my own wheels. I'm using a one and a quarter inch hole saw for this. And that's how I'm cutting my wheels out. I have to admit, this was a lot of work for six wheels. I have a lot of sanding to do on these walnut wheels, but I think they look kind of pretty. They'll look really nice on the truck. Now what I'm going to be doing is using my Gorilla Adhesive to spray on the back of my pattern and stick them right on my pieces of wood. I'm using quarter inch dowel rods for the axles, so when I drill my holes at the bottom of my truck, I'm going to go two sizes bigger than that so they flow freely when the wheels turn. And you can use a drill, but it's much easier to use a drill press so you're getting that accurate 90 degree drilling. So I'm going to be drilling the holes for the um, wheels and also the entry holes so that I can cut out the windows. Every project deserves a brand new blade. Blades are so cheap, I mean they're around two dollars a piece, so it is better to start with a brand new one than to have problems with an old one. My blade of choice is a Pegasus MG T5. This is an inch and a half softwood and this is a quarter of an inch hardwood and it will do fine with this. If you would prefer to have a um, number seven or number nine, I mean that's entirely up to you. Another option to these fenders are to stack cut them both together. I did make a slight error right here and made it a little bit more narrow, so I'll just do the same thing to this one. I suggest for the big pieces you always start with the inner cuts to make sure they look nice because if you don't like the way they look, you might start again with another piece of wood. a little ridge in here after cutting out one of the windows so the good thing about a scroll saw is you can go back and clean it up and make it nice and smooth so that's what I am doing now make it nice and smooth I mean you could sand it too but look how easy that was time to cut the body of the truck and this is one and a half inches of soft wood. It's fairly easy to cut even though it's thick. If you have the right blade it's important whether you're doing a quarter inch thick wood hardwood or one and a half inch thick soft wood that you keep a nice even pressure with both hands and you try to keep a smooth turn so that there's not a lot of choppy areas where you have to go back and do a lot of sanding. Now I attached this pattern directly to the wood. A lot of times I will use uh, painter's tape or packing tape, spray, and then glue it to that. So in this instance, it takes a little bit longer to remove the paper. So I took some mineral spirits, rubbed it in, and then it came off pretty easy. So it's really your choice how you want to attach it to the wood. I decided to do my little addition to this cute little truck. I wanted to have a little area, like a flatbed area, that um, whoever is going to be playing with it can put little items in it. So I'm taking two pieces of cherry and um, plywood, and I'm going to 
use tape to stick them together to cut out the basic shape. Then I'll take them apart and cut out an inside of it. Obviously it does not have to be perfect. And now I'm just going to glue this down. I'm just going to use one little piece here of packing tape just to ensure the pieces do not come apart. Now I'm just cutting the outside of the trailer apart. We'll separate the two pieces of wood, cut the one piece of the inside of the trailer apart, glue it together. And you know, it's kind of fun because I'm using so many different species of wood. I've got cherry here, I've got walnut, and I've got pine. I think it's gonna look so nice. I'm not going to have to use any stain or any coloring on it. I'll just leave it just like it is. I'm cutting the axles now. I've added up the width of the truck, the width of the two tires, and added about an eighth of an inch so they can move freely. And then I just line them up to get them all cut the same size. Boy, I tell you, I can keep adding and adding to this project. I decided I wanted headlights and taillights, but since it's for a little boy, I don't want any small little parts. So I'm just gonna be drilling two little holes to indicate the headlights and taillights. I took a quarter inch drill bit and drilled down about a half an inch deep, two holes on this back part, and I widened the holes here on the top part of the bed so that it'll be able to fit right on the dowel rods. Then I cut dowel rods about an inch long, and I'm going to be putting a dab of glue in here and pounding them in to secure them on this piece with my rubber mallet. It's time to sand, sand, and sand. These are quite handy. I've got blocks and I'm holding. I'm going to be the, using the individual sanders. You want to make sure that everything is rounded over and there are no sharp edges on the entire piece. Even these little fenders are going to be glued on, but you don't want anything to poke a child. As for the wheels, I have glued on one side of the wheel so I can position them in here, put the other side on, and know exactly where I want to put my fender. And it's time to glue this on. Once this is dry, then I will put the other fender on. This is the way that I remove extra glue. I use a toothpick and I go around and get rid of all of the glue squeeze out. I'm using a permanent ink sharpie just to put red for the taillights and I'll use yellow for the headlights. The fenders are kind of cute. I like them. Now it's time for me to apply mineral oil on all of the pieces and apply it with my fingers mainly and then I will use a paintbrush for the really uh, hard to reach spots. Just gluing on the last of the tires and then putting mineral oil on them. I am so excited my little truck is done and I think it's kind of cute. You know, I truly have fun doing scroll saw projects and this is another one of those. The next time I think I'll purchase wheels because these were a lot of work and they're not exactly perfect and that way all the rest of it will be built on the scroll saw. So again, thanks for watching.